the name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong tower for me. I want to and I'm so yeah, I breathe the word yeah. well, Freedom can be found in the name It's in the name
Yo, what's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning into our live stream concert tonight. We're very excited and looking forward to all that God is going to do. We have original music, stories, testimonies, and there's going to be a giveaway right at the very end. If you want to win the giveaway, all you have to do is go down into the chat, write a comment, let us know that you're here, and the random generator will select the winner for the prize given out at the end. Listen, if you have headphones, I encourage you to chuck them on. If you have a speaker, chuck up the bass. We're going to have a great night. I'm looking forward to it. God bless. Hey guys, my name is Malaki. I grew up in New Zealand surrounded by a loving family and a culture and uh, food and uh, everything I could really ask for. I never really had to worry about anything growing up. I was just able to be a kid 
uh, hang out with my brothers and my sisters, play sport, uh, watch cartoons. Um, but from a very early age, I also understood that my life wasn't perfect. At seven, I had to move out of my home with my mum and my siblings, move in with my grandpa, and uh, to get away from my dad who was physically abusive. At uh, 10, I, uh, one of my closest cousins died. Uh, from the age of uh, 15, after a series of traumatic events, half my family I decided to move to Australia and start again, uh, have a fresh start there. Uh, so things happened in my life that I felt I really had no explanation for and uh, I really had no control over. And so uh, I came to my own conclusion that in life things just happen and you just have to get on with life. And so at the age of 18, that's what I did. Um, I decided to move once again. I moved back to New Zealand and I joined the New Zealand Defence Force away from my family, um, away from my friends, but this time just wanting to be independent and wanting to start an adult life. Over the next four years, this uh, played out in my life and progressively got worse. Um, at, at 18, started 19, a little worse, 20, uh, 21, and by the age of 22, I was um, drinking and partying, and uh, you know, this had taken over my life. I would, hang out for the payday so that I could spend most of my um, pay at the club getting drunk and uh, I'd smoke and and do drugs and this all started weighing heavy on my conscience I started to feel a guilt uh, for all the uh, stupid things that I'd do while I was drunk and uh, while I was on drugs and the way that I would treat people and uh, at the age of 22 I decided to leave the army and um, I had an idea to start a new life, start again, uh, start fresh and move to Australia. And uh, so I did that. I left the army, I moved over to Australia and I moved in to, uh, with one of my close friends. And he had been going to a church and he started inviting me out. And um, uh, eventually um, I ended up coming to a church event uh, and then I came to a church service. And at the service, I heard a message that uh, that there's sin in our lives and that there was sin in my life and that it needed to be repented of. And so I was at a point in my life was uh, searching for answers and, and uh, through the preaching, I heard that I could be forgiven of my sin and that I could uh, be born again and that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. On the 17th of June, uh, 2018, I responded to an altar call. Um, I repented of my sins. I accepted Jesus Christ. Uh, from that day forward, Jesus um, helped me in overcoming and dealing with issues from my past, the shame um, and the guilt and the burden that I'd had from my actions in the army and the bitterness and the hurt that I'd hold on, held on to uh, growing up. And uh, I was able to uh, come into church, uh, begin to be a disciple, serve God, um, and join in ministry. Uh, last year I was able to get married, and um, this year we're expecting a child, and Jesus Christ has totally changed my life, set me free, um, given me a purpose, uh, a hope that I'd never had before in my life, and if you can change my life, it can change your life too. Take down your diet and watch and fall 
great is our God, we shall see Him no more. People of God, raise your voice and stand tall. Jesus is for us, sing loud one and all. Power from heaven. Watch the enemy run, the people go free. Our God has won, and we're free Hey everyone, my name's Sophie, I'm 21 and I've been saved six years now. I grew up in a good home, um, great parents, um, I came from a pretty big family, I'm one of six kids. Um, I grew up in church, had lots of friends in church, my life was church, it was everything I knew. Um, I was a pretty good kid, I hated getting in trouble and I was really blessed because I had such a great childhood, I had a good family, um, a great church, I had good friends. Um, and I just thought everything was going great. Um, and so when I was 11, my family and I, we moved overseas to Indonesia. Um, we became missionaries. Um, and that was pretty hard <clears throat> to move from Australia to a third world country. Everything was totally different. Um, and I started a different school as well. It was at this school that um, I started to get bullied. I didn't really tell anyone what was happening. I just kept it all inside. I didn't want to speak about it. I didn't know how to speak about it. I thought that it would just hurt too much to speak about. Um, and so all these emotions began to boil on the inside. I was angry. Um, I felt really worthless um, and I really began to just hate myself and blame myself for it all. Um, and all of that stuff began to come out on the outside and self-harm and I began to cut myself. Um, and that went on for about a year. Um, no one knew anything that was happening. I never spoke to anyone, like I said. It just, um, I really shut myself out and off from everyone. Um, I didn't want anyone to see inside and I felt like if I was around them too long that they would clue on and even, even then I just didn't want to be around people. I wanted to be by myself. And so everything um, just kept happening. Um, I really had no sense of worth me. Um, yeah, I really felt worthless. Um, eventually my parents worked out what was happening and they just confronted me with it all and they said, so you can keep going the way you're going but you're going to get nowhere. And so I just remember thinking, why not? Like, what have I got to lose? I've tried it my way and it's not working. Um, and so I accepted him into my heart and he began to change me and he began to work in me and set me free from a lot of things. I stopped self-harming. I began to really find a value. And so Jesus had begun to change so many things in me, but there was still so much that I hadn't given over to him and surrendered to him. And I remember specifically at a youth boot camp in 2015, the first one they actually had um, in Perth. I responded to an altar call and I decided to go all in for God. Um, and so I prayed that prayer I responded to that all to six years ago today and I just look back at my life and I think wow God has done something really amazing from someone who thought they were worthless and really didn't have much purpose or anything any reason to live um, or so I thought he's totally changed me I'm married now uh, I have a great church um, all my relationships are restored with my family um, I have a little baby now and I just want to let you know that um, if you can relate to any part of anything that I've said, Jesus loves you and he has a plan for you. And if you haven't given your life to Jesus, I really encourage you to do so.
What a great time of music and testimonies. We want to thank you for being involved in joining us on our live stream concert tonight. But before we wrap it up, before we bring it to a close, I just want to let you know that the reason that we put this concert on tonight is because you could have joined this concert anyway. You could have joined this concert tonight broken or confused and fed up with life, sin in your life. But like that last song said, you can join it one way, but tonight you have an opportunity to leave another. I want to let you know, and the reason we put this concert on is to tell you 
that Jesus Christ, He loves you and He has a plan for your life. And 2,020 years ago, He came to this earth and died on a rugged cross for your sins and for my sins so that we can be forgiven. I want to let you know that no matter what you've done, who you are or where you're from, that Jesus Christ loves you and He has a plan for your life. The Bible says that we are all born in sin. We're all sinners, every single one of us. There's nothing that we can do in our own rights to, to be perfect or to make heaven as our home. We're all sinners and separated from God. But tonight we want to give you the opportunity to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Be forgiven of your sin. Come to a relationship with Jesus Christ and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Be forgiven and set free. We want to let you know that God has so much for your life and He has such a great plan and all He asks is that you would accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And listen tonight, we are living in the last days. Jesus is coming back. There's no denying that. And then one day you're going to stand before Jesus and give an account of your life. And tonight, just like that song, like I just mentioned, that you could come in one way, but tonight you have an opportunity to leave another. You can leave set free and touched by the power of Jesus Christ. And tonight, if that's you, and you know that you're a sinner and you're separated from God, but you need to be forgiven, and you want to pray and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to ask it if you just bow your heads with me very quickly and close your eyes and repeat this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord, come into my life. Help me to be saved and to be born again. Lord, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness, your mercy, and your grace. God created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. I want to live for you and serve you all of my days. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you pray tonight and you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, there's going to be a number that appears on your screen below. We just want to encourage you to text that number or even in the live chat and let us know if you prayed and accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We just want to encourage you and begin to help you in your new walk with Jesus Christ. Amen. This is our church. We are the Potter's House Hurstville. We have church here on Sundays and Wednesdays, but church will be opening up soon and we're excited for that. Stick around. We're going to be announcing... Uh, the winner of the giveaway in the live chat below. So stick around, find out who the winner is. It might be you. And then thanks again for being involved in our live stream concert tonight. It's been a great night. God bless. Have a good night.